Fab, the new marketplace for Unreal Engine assets just launched roughly 12 hours ago. I want to give you a quick breakdown of how it works and the things you need to look out for, since there's actually quite a bit to talk about, such as how to claim the free mega scans, new license tiers, what happened to our wish lists, some issues with free assets and more. First of all, the Quixel Mega Scans library will stop being free next year. And this means tens of thousands of high quality assets will become inaccessible unless you pay for them. But if you claim them till the end of the year, you can keep on using them indefinitely. For this reason, there have been a bunch of scripts on GitHub to auto claim the entire library. However, claiming them on the old marketplace does not carry over to Fab. But Epic provided a simple button you just have to click to claim all of the assets at once. This will bind them to your account and I suggest you do this right now, no matter if you claimed them with a script before or not. Staying on the topic of mega scans, the library has been updated and now features improved quality tiers, upgraded textures and much more. Quixel will continue to release a few more asset packs for free over the next year, so make sure to keep an eye out for them. This also marks the end of the old Unreal Engine marketplace and it can in fact not be accessed anymore. But all of your purchases should be transferred over to Fab and be accessible there. It appears though that some users do have issues with this and Fab support staff mentioned that the transition is in process and might take a bit of time, so please be patient. Sadly, this means our wishlists aren't accessible anymore and if you're anything like me, you probably had hundreds of assets on there which you were keeping in mind for future projects. A wishlist or favorite feature is planned for Fab but hasn't been rolled out yet. Even then, I think this probably doesn't mean that our old wishlist will get transferred over but we'll have to start again from scratch. So if you want to know what was on your old wishlist, you can actually just contact Fab support and they'll send you a PDF with all of the assets listed up. And you can then try to find them on the new marketplace. On to a different topic, Paper ZD is already available on Fab. And in case you're new here, it's a great free plugin to make creating 2D games in Unreal much easier and more streamlined. The reviews of the old store did carry over, however we're able to review it again. So if you've already left a rating on the old marketplace or not, please go over to Fab right now and rate this plugin. Heavy Bullets has been putting so much work into this, making it available for free, and the more ratings it has, the more Epic will notice how many of us deeply care about 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games in Unreal. Let's now talk a bit about the license. Asset creators will be able to just select a blanket license like before that applies to both businesses and individuals. However, they can also choose to split the license between reference only, personal and professional and have different pricing for these tiers. Professional is for studios or entities with $100,000 of revenue or funding over the last 12 months. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. It makes sense that a multi-million dollar company might have to pay more for an asset than somebody in their bedroom making their first game. But I really like the simplicity of the old license and I think 100k is too low of a cutoff point. $100,000 is really not that much when it comes to making games and this means if you launched a successful Kickstarter you have another headache to deal with. But one cool thing about the new license is that it allows you to not only use these assets on Unreal but also on UEFN, Unity, Godot and whatever else you want to do with them. The old Unreal Engine marketplace also didn't allow free assets unless there were code plugins but Fab does allow these. And this means we have a whole new mountain of free 3D models and environments available to play around with. To access the permanently free collection we used to have, you simply want to search for the permanent keyword. Two of the maps I was using in my Udemy courses and other videos are tagged as permanent. However, they currently show up with a price tag. This is a huge issue for students who are going through these courses and I picked these assets because they were supposed to be permanently free. But I hope and think this is just a bug or settings issue and I reached out to both the creator and support team of Fab and hopefully this will be resolved soon. So if you're currently going through one of the courses, please be patient. My biggest gripe with Fab right now is that you cannot middle or right click an asset to open it in a new tab. And once you back out of an asset, it also doesn't put your scroll bar back to where it used to be and it just spits you out at some random location. This makes it really hard to compare assets because you can only look at one thing at a time and I hope they fix this in the future. But Fab just launched and they have many plans to improve upon it. The most important one being that you will be able to access your Fab library directly from the Unreal Engine editor. And that's it for now. As always, thanks to my awesome patrons.